today I will show you how I did this look right here. I'm in love with it. I hope you would like it too. And uh, yeah, if you like warm tones um, in general and uh, you like cut creases, this is a tutorial for you. You can also not do a cut crease. You can just use similar colors as you want. You can use the same technique and use it with different colors or use the similar colors that I used and uh, use different techniques. That's all up to you as always. I am just hope I'm here to inspire you a bit and uh, to make your makeup routine a little bit more creative, which is what I love. So I did this elf cut crease action and it's the first time that I'm really trying to make this work and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result. Yeah. And I'm in love with the palette that I've used, which is the Venice 2 palette. Um, it's been a while since I played with it, and I just used the warm tone shades in this palette. Sorry for pigment all over. Warm tone shades in this palette, which are so beautiful, so pigmented, super, super blend blendable. I'm in love with these shades so much. So I really wanted to share this look with you. So if you want to know how I did this look and also the lips, which I'm loving, then keep on watching. I will first apply some concealer all over my lids, even though there was still a bit of concealer. I want to make sure that I'm super primed. I'll be setting it with the light shade in the Wet n Wild contour duo. I just mix up the two shades of the contour little palette and use those as a little transition shade just to make sure that the crease is pretty buffed and not sticky at all because that ruins your eyeshadow looks. I will be taking Lime Cream palette the shade Mustard this beautiful blending brush from Wet n Wild, it's new and I already fell in love with this. So we are applying the mustard shade right in the first third of the crease. Concentrate the product there and with Winsor Wipe Motion to just blend it out. To concentrate the product more you can use a little buffing motions. You can then take a clean brush, you can just run off everything here. Okay, now with the same brush, just remove a little bit of the product. The same brush, I mean the Wet n Wild. And um, I will be taking a gem from the palette and I will be applying it on the last third of the eye, right there. Also, I completely forgot, you can apply it right on the outer corner just first tap the product so you can place it then without any excess of more product you can just blend it out really well in the crease and with the mustard shade I'm gonna taper it out a bit just we can go ahead and intensify it as much as we want I'm in love with Lime Crime Shadows if this brush right here, I will now go ahead and intensify it even more right in the crease. I will be now taking mud on this pencil brush from Essence. And I will be first placing it really well on the other corner. You see how big it is, this shadows? It's crazy. First you place it where you want, I'm gonna create a little circular shape here. Then you can take off the excess of product, which is a lot because this, this is pigmented. And you can go ahead and buff it with this brush because it's pretty dense and it will make it easier for you to blend. You really want to make this super blended, so I take the wet and wire brush blend everything 
I will be taking this brush which is the NYX contour brush and I'm gonna just taper out gem a bit so our shadow have a nice tapered out shape which is what we want if you want to make it more round feel free to do that uh, now it comes to the most difficult part which is the carving I will be taking some concealer and I will carve out my crease Now with a different brush, I will be taking Ticket Pigment from Neva Cosmetics, you probably know, I love this. And obviously you're gonna use a mixing medium with this, so take your mixing medium, the one that you like, I really recommend the NYX one, but also the Neva Cosmetics one, it's really good, and also the MAC one, if you prefer. I'm gonna work in sections, as you know, it's better. can taper this color out and I'm gonna blend it with I'm gonna use this brush right here which is a no-name brush and I will be using jam and blend the two colors together right here on that outer corner lower lash line right now real quick then I will be taking with this brush mustard and apply it all over especially in this more inner corner of the lower lash line I will be using this brush which is a Jessup short shader with jam and I will be applying it a little more above the color but right here in the outer corner you want to make sure the two shades are blending together nicely with a flat definer brush from Jessup I will be applying a matte right here I can go ahead and apply some more mud right here to make sure everything is blending together nicely use Mexican Lucky Glitter in size 2 Okay, so this is basically what you have. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this liner in my cosmetics just to line my upper lash line and then I will get back to you with lashes on which will be iconic lashes from Oz of Lashes. Okay, shall we do the lips? I want something really warm tone and I thought of this Wacom Cosmetics a liquid lipstick but I feel like we should do a ombre lip so I have um, After Hours from NYX one of the NYX lip lingerie lingerie I don't know how to say it anymore I'm looking so silly. We can take with this little brush a bit of this color from my kind, which is Rick Club number 47. And I'm gonna apply it right in the center. Oh my god. Not sure anymore of this thing.
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, you learned something. Maybe you are more inspired to do something like this or whatever. And um, yeah, I will see you in my next video and I hope I will get to do the wig videos. Please let me know if you want them because I need some motivation to do them. But I want to do them because you know, I know you like them. And other than that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button if you like this video and also click on the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And bye! Love you!